Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to WWT Wrestling or WWT Episodes. Last episode, Triple H was talking about what happened at the pay-per-view event Fatal 4-Way. And obviously, his rival from WWT Tough Enough Michael came out. And then McFoley came out, the general manager, and told that everybody that Michael and Triple H will be having a Texas Barb Wire match at Hardcore Paradise, which is our next pay-per-view event. You're not going to want to miss it. Smash the like button and subscribe. Also, Triple H pedigreed Randy Orton after Orton's match. Undertaker and McFoley are becoming rivals, and McFoley, the general manager, made Undertaker defend his World Heavyweight Championship in a handicap match against Rikishi and his brother Kane. What is going to happen on this episode? Here we go, guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, we have to Jerry and his opponent making his... Wait, well, actually, in the ring now, Batista. And here we go to Jerry now. Way smaller than Batista. Oh, what a takedown by Batista and a huge shoulder tackle. And what a... A clothesline by Batista off the ropes. He goes, oh, what a spine buster. He's already looking to finish him off here. Oh, kicks him in the stomach. He's going for a Batista bomb, but Jerry reverses it. And kicks him right in the side of the face. Hurricane Rana into a neck breaker. To Jerry now on the top rope. Oh, he gets caught. Belly to belly suplex. What strength by Batista. And what a huge kick to the face. Huge body slam. And he goes for a cover one. To Jerry reverses it and or picks out. Huge shoulder tackle. And wow, he's got him up on his shoulders. Oh, what a drop by Batista. Batista not going to the outside of the ring. And oh, kicks him right in the face there. Looks like Batista was gonna go out and get some weapons. And oh, what an emerald fusion. One, two, and a kick out at two. Batista now really a big suplex. Kicks him in the stomach. Here we go, Batista bomb. That has got to be it. One, two, three. And here's your winner, Batista. What a hell of a match. Finally, contest is a triple threat match. It is a non-title matchup. And interesting. First, we have the WWT Intercontinental Champion Triple H and his opponents. Chris Jericho and his opponent making his way to the ring now. He's the current reigning defending WWT champion, Paul Burchill. Now here he comes making his way to the ring. Champions, two champions in the ring here. And they immediately, oh, they immediately start fighting here. Jericho kicks him in the gut. Oh, close one over the top rope. But what is this? What maneuver is this by Paul Burchill here? Oh my god, what a maneuver. One, already a one count. Hip lock takeover. Belly to belly suplex. This champion versus champion in the ring right now. And now, oh, Triple H now. With that huge maneuver. Jericho, oh, gets caught into a body slam. Oh my god, this is completely insane here. Jericho. Oh, wait a minute. Paul Virgil and Triple H go to the outside of the ring. And now, oh, what a maneuver by the champion. And, oh my god, what a maneuver. And now here comes Triple H back into the ring. Triple H now. Oh, Pedigree is the WWE champion. And oh, Jericho, before he can even get a, a one count. Oh, Jericho interrupts the count. And now, wait a minute. Oh, he got his finisher. One, two, but Paul Virgil throws him off there. Right hands over the top rope. And now what is this? He grabs his... No way! Oh, he just went face first. Into the steel steps. This is Triple H's time. Oh, to take advantage. And he, he goes for a cover. He's trying to make it. He got his hand over the champion. One, two... Oh my god, Randy Orton just punted his head off there. And now what is this? Oh, RKO out of nowhere. These men have been feuding since last episode. And now... Triple H in trouble as Paul Burchill goes for the cover. One, two, three, and here's your winner. Paul Burchill, holy crap. He couldn't beat the WWE Champion because of Randy Orton. That is absolutely insane. Randy Orton got his payback. What the hell was that for, Orton? I was just getting payback of what you did last episode. You deserved it. You know what? You're not going to be 
talking all that shit once I take that belt off around your waist and become the new world class heavyweight champion and the intercontinental champion. No, you see what's gonna happen is you two are gonna go back out there right now and you're gonna fight it out in the ring because it's gonna be Triple H versus Randy Orton and it will be for the World Classic Giveaway Championship and a Falls Count Anywhere match. So you guys better get your asses out there now. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and it is for the World Classic Giveaway Championship. Introducing first the challenger, Triple H, and his opponent making his way to the ring now. He is the current reigning defending World Classic Giveaway Champion, Randy Orton. Here we go. He throws the, his belt to the ground there. And Orton picks up Triple H and beating the hell out of him here. Standing drop kick, and remember Triple H is already hurt from the last match he just had. And oh, Triple H is the one that started all this whole thing last episode. You guys can go check that out in the top right -hand corner of this video. And now Triple H, oh, planning the champion. Triple H now with that trash can. Oh, right to the head of Orton. It's all legal here in this Falls Kind of Newer matchup. And now Orton, oh, stomach first to the challenger, and now he throws him out of the ring, but Orton oh, gets knocked right in the head there. Triple H with a huge shoulder tackle. He throws him over the top rope to the floor. Here we go, where they fight on the outside. This is not even the main event, ladies and gentlemen. And now Triple H just completely spears him into the uh, steel steps there. And all those steps being used as a weapon. Oh, the champion in some serious trouble. And now Randy Orton oh, gets a body slam on the... On the Concrete floor. Orin now in some serious trouble. Pedigree. He goes for a cover. One, two. But Orin gets the shoulder up. And now Orin using the ring to get up. Oh my god. Face first. Off of that hard ring. And now he throws. Wait a minute. Orin. Oh, with a suplex on a Triple H on the bare ground there. The World Class Game Championship is on the line. And now Triple H is in some serious trouble as he's fighting Randy Orton. But Orton now set up two tables. He's going to the top here, folks. And oh, suplex off the top rope through two tables. He goes for a cover. One, two. But Triple H gets the shoulder up. And now he's got that trash can. Oh, my God. And punts him right in the right in the face. Triple H dazed and confused. RKO out of nowhere. One, two, three. Triple H loses hit this match. Here's your winner. And still the world classic heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has retained his belt and has proven to Triple H who the better man is. Let's get on with the main event, ladies and gentlemen. The following contest is a hardcore match. Interesting. First, we have Eddie Guerrero and his opponent making his way to the ring now. He's one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Jeff Hardy. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hardcore rules. Oh, Eddie Guerrero now already starting things off with a hardcore twist. And now he grabs Hardy's face. Into the turnbuckle. And now, wait a minute, again. Oh, face first into the turnbuckle. He kicks him right in the head. This is going to be insane. And now, pile driver. He goes for a cover already. Not even a one count. Hardy now with a right, or left hand. Another right. And now he's got him up. Powerbomb. And now Hardy going to the outside. Oh my god, Hardy's got trash cans, chairs, a shopping cart. In the middle of the ring here. And now what is this? Oh, stomach first into that shopping cart. Eddie Guerrero. Oh my god. He gets body slammed. And leg drop. Holy crap. Holy crap. What a leg drop by Hardy. Incapacitating his opponent here. Now, oh, what a chair shot of the skull. And Hardy now. Body slamming Eddie Guerrero. Going to the top with a leg drop. Cover. One, two. But Eddie Guerrero gets the shoulder up. Jeff Hardy now. Oh, face first. Off that steel chair and the trash can. Oh, trash can. And now what is this? Eddie Guerrero. Oh, kicks him right in the face. Eddie's still going in a combo here. Oh, five-star frog splash. 
cover. One, two, but Hardy gets the shoulder up. And now Hardy's back up here. Hardy, oh, with a harsh trash can shot to the head. And now, where is he going? He's got a table. He's setting a table up here, folks. And Hardy now has got, oh, Eddie Guerrero body slammed on top of that table. And now Hardy puts his opponent on top of the table here. He's putting the steel chair on top of him as well. And here we go. Oh my god. What a swanton bomb. Cover one, two, three, and here's your winner, Jeff Hardy. That was one insane hardcore match. Well, we thought that was the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen, but apparently not. McFoley now, the general manager, pacing back and forth. But wait a minute. Oh, it's the Undertaker, the World Heavyweight Champion. The leader of the Ministry of Darkness. He's got that barbed wire chair. What is... Oh, my God. That's the general manager, for God's sake. He's got him by the throat. Oh, and he goes through a table. And now he's got that barbed wire table. You have got to be kidding me. No, 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 not the general manager. Oh, my God. Through a table. All, all hell is breaking loose. He's beating the hell out of the manager here. And now... No, no, no. Tombstone. Undertaker's out of control. He's got those barbed wire boards. Mick Foley is not moving here. He's got him by the throat. Oh, my God. He's beating the living hell out of him here. No. He's, he's setting up those barbed wire boards. No. Oh, my God. Tombstone. That's what you get. You think you're so powerful. Obviously, you're not, McFoley. What is going to happen next episode? Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. And guys, don't forget to stay awesome. Thank you so much for watching.